special uh -huh. guest down here. Uh, another nice win, my friend. How you feeling? Oh, that was that was great. You know, uh, to come back home and be able to. This is like another pit stop for our before our road <laughs> yeah, trip. Um, so that was good for us to you know get out and, and and play well offensively and do our thing that we do on defense. Yeah, you're talking about playing well offensively. 36 assists on 51 field goals. What is it about this team, particularly recently, George, that's enabled it to move the ball so well and get the looks that you're getting? Yeah, I think we're just doing a really good job of depending on each other. You know, the ball's hopping around. Once we get stops, can fly out, get in, get in transition. I think we're doing an amazing job of moving the ball, and it helps when you're making threes, let me tell you that. Yeah, no kidding. This team uh, tonight knocks down 23 big triples, just too shy of a franchise record. Uh, as it was coming from everywhere tonight, George. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm a firm believer that if uh, the ball is hopping, shots are going to go in. Yeah. And uh, we've done that for the last, uh, I don't know, it seems like a long time. But we're winning <laughs> games, and uh, we're all happy. And I think when you find a, a joyous group like us that actually has one common goal of winning, uh, you're going to find success. When we were first getting to know you early this season, uh, in the preseason, you discussed the similarities between you and newcomer Max Struess. Yeah. Both underdog stories, both have a lot to prove, both play with a chip on your shoulder. Uh, Max tonight knocks down six big threes. Great to see him watch that ball go through the hoop here this evening. Yeah, Max just seems to do all the right things, and now the ball's finally starting to go in for him. Uh, he was tremendous tonight, whether if it was grabbing offensive rebounds or popping behind screens and making shots. He's kind of a jack of all trades guy and we're really lucky to have him because not in it, not only does he lead with his voice but he leads with his actions yeah. too. George your bench has been so good you've been such an integral part of what this bench has done and now things get a little more difficult not, not necessarily difficult it's a luxury you want to have but the starters and Darius Garland and Evan Mobley come back into the lineup and things shift a little bit in terms of that rotation but it has seemed to have been smooth sailing for that bench over the last handful of games has it been as smooth as it seemed out there on the floor I mean I don't know when you win games by 26 yeah. points and 20 <laughs> right. points it's, it's pretty smooth yeah, yeah. Um, you know I think whenever you add more talent to your lineup uh, it definitely doesn't hurt that's yeah. for sure and we've done a great job of just gelling and making it work uh, credit to the coaches you know they've done a tremendous job of just preaching you know sacrifice and uh, you know you're just gonna have to be ready when your opportunities there and there's some things you're gonna have to sacrifice with guys coming back but if we're winning by 26, I really don't see <laughs> what the problem is, that's You're for sure. Right. So this team now is 19-4 and four since mid-December. And here's the rise. Oh, wow. Second 12. place. Look at that. Yep. Down second place. Just percentage points ahead of Milwaukee. This team, George, was in ninth place when it was announced that we're going to lose both Darius Garland and Evan Mobley yeah. for an extended period of time. And that's just what we've seen now over the last handful of weeks. You talk about this team playing together. That chemistry seems authentic. You've played for a number of different teams yes. and a number of really good teams yeah. throughout your career. What's your take on what the chemistry has been like, not just on the floor, but on the practice floor and in that locker yeah, room as well? Yeah, you know, in my experience in the NBA, it's one thing to have a ton of individual talent, and then it's another thing to have a lot of talent that can all come together yeah. and play as one. And we have individual talent, but we also have collective talent. And uh, I think you're seeing the best of both worlds with us, right? Like, sometimes it's going to be Max's night. Yep. Other nights it's going to be Darius or Evan's night, like it was the other night. And when you have so many weapons, you're almost like telling the other team, like, pick your poison yep. and good luck, especially the way we've been playing defense. To hold this team, I don't know what they're ranked in, in offensive efficiency or offense, but they've done a tremendous job of scoring the ball and to hold them to 18 points in the fourth quarter and 110 points over uh over the course of the game just as a credit to our defense yeah. but we do have a lot of offensive weapons yeah. so it's it's the best of both worlds here in cleveland just last season the kings had the highest offensive rating ever yeah. recorded not in NBA tonight history. nope a little more modest this season and certainly not tonight george and the gang gets it done that defense continues to play some great basketball they nail a load of threes here this evening these guys just keep on trucking and now back on the